In this video, I'm going to um, give you some calculations that you can use to determine if there are any outliers in a data set. So there's going to be two different calculations we're going to use for that. The first one is going to use the interquartile range. So I have some data here and I need to find the interquartile range and for that I first need to arrange them in order. So 10 and then we have 14, 15, 16, 16, 17 and then 22. Okay, so that's my data in order. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data here. The middle one must be the fourth one. Okay, so the median is 16. And to find the position of the lower quartile, what I can do is seven add one divided by four. So that's eight divided by four, which is the second position, second position. So the lower quartile is in the second position and I have 14 in that position. Okay, so the second one, I've got 14. To find the position of the upper quartile, what I can do is 7 add 1, divide by 4, and then times by 3. Um, so this is 8 divided by 4 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, so it's in the 6th position. So the 6th position, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 17 there. So upper quartile is 17. Now the interquartile range will be the upper quartile take away the lower quartile, so that's 17 take away 14, and that's going to be 3. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this interquartile range, I'm going to multiply it by 1.5. So in our course, to determine if there are any outliers, what we're going to do is we're going to find the IQR and multiply it by 1.5. Okay, so 1.5 times the IQR, is equal to 3 times, or 1.5 times 3, and that's going to be 4.5. So now what I do is I subtract 4.5 from the lower quartile, and I add 4.5 to the upper quartile, okay? And that's going to be the range that I have. If, if my data values are within that range, they are not outliers, and if they are outside that range, they are outliers. Okay, so I've got the lower quartile is 14, so I'm going to do 14, take away 4.5. That's going to give me 9.5. And my upper quartile is 17, and I'm going to add the 4.5 to that. So 17, add 4.5. And that gives me 21.5. So now, if my data values are within 9.5 and 21.5, we will consider them not to be outliers. If they are less than 9.5, that will be an outlier, that will be a very small outlier. And if, if they are more than 21.5, that will be an outlier on the larger side. So let's see. So we can see that our smallest value is 10, and 9.5 is less than that, so 9.5 is somewhere here, so 10 is within our range. Our largest value is 22, and we've got 21.5 as our threshold for that one, so 21.5 will be somewhere here, so 22 is outside that range, so we will say there is an outlier, and our outlier is 22. Okay, so we can say uh, 22 is an outlier. There is another calculation that we could use to determine um, if, if we have outliers here. Okay, so that one uses the mean and standard deviation. Okay, so what I've done is I found the mean for this, and I can tell you that the mean is the mean is 15.71, 15.71 to two decimal places. Okay, and I've also found the standard deviation. Okay, so the standard deviation is 3.33, 3.33, and again, to two decimal places. So this um, calculation um, will use the standard deviation and the mean. So what you do now is you multiply the standard deviation by 3, and you subtract it from the mean, for the lower threshold, and you add it to the mean for the upper threshold. Okay, so those 
that will give you the range for you know your data and if any data values are outside that range then th those will be considered outliers okay so for the lower part we're going to do 15 so 15 Point seven one take away three times three point three three. I'll just put that in my calculator. So fifteen point seven one times three sorry fifteen point seven one take away three times three point three three. Okay, so that's five point seven two. And um, the upper value that we're going to look at for our range, 15.71, add three times the standard deviation, which is 3.33. So 15.71, add three times 3.33. And that gives us 25.7. Okay. Now, these are the important values that I need to look at. So 5.72, I know is much less than my lowest value of 10. So 10 is not an outlier. And 25.7 is much more than 22, which is my highest value. So 22 is also not an outlier. And everything in between cannot be an outlier. So using this calculation, we find that there are no outliers here. Okay, But using the other calculation that we did, using the interquartile range, we found that there is. Okay, So these are the two ways that we're going to determine whether or not there are outliers in a set of data. So here's a task for you. Um, I'd like you to do the same thing, really. So determine whether or not there are any outliers in the following data and state what they are. So you've got these numbers here. And for number one, I want you to use the calculation involving interquartile range and for number two I want you to use the calculation involving standard deviation okay so you're going to have to work out the standard devi deviation and you can use your calculator for that and uh, the last question I should have said compare here so compare compare your work on this data to the example I use so compare what you got here to what I got in the examples that I used